Hey guys, Alex here from Deep Cycle Paul. Welcome to the Cell Doctor channel. In this quick video, I want to talk about an inverter that I have set up. I received this inverter right here. It's a three kilowatt inverter. And uh, these are the specs. It's an off-grid inverter. I wanted to test this battery to make sure everything works fine with um, the cells I tested. And it had uh, a few broken components. These are some relays that are inside. And we have to change those in order to get this inverter working. This is how it was doing before uh, when we tested the first time. And uh, let's see how everything works now. So let me quickly go over the connections. You can see that this is the battery connection right here and it goes to the battery. Uh, all the connections should be made when uh, everything is turned off. This is uh, a 100 volts power supply. It actually can do dynamic from uh, 40 to 100 and uh, I connected that on the PV input to test the charging of this uh, inverter as well and this is the communication between the battery and the BMS so now I can power on the battery Right, we see it has 51.7 volts and the inverter also detected that there's voltage on the battery input and powered on. Right now it just shows the battery information, it's not providing any power on the output. On the output I connected this, this power cable right here. Let's test that everything works fine with uh, with powering on and that there's no more error all right so you can see that it has an output of 229 volts the frequency is 50 Hertz and the battery shows at 92% to get proper state of charge you need to do a cycle on the battery as well so a uh, charge and discharge so it uh, it reads properly we can see that in standby it takes 2.2 amps to run this inverter so it will deplete this battery if um, it's powered on and uh, even if you don't use any energy from it so let's power on the solar panel the virtual solar panel that we have here I've set it to 90 volts if you remember from the specs this inverter can take up to 150 volts uh, and it will do an MPPT charging you see it detected the PV in goes to battery and that power is also used for um, inverter as well and now we can see that the battery is charging with 18.8 .8 amps right so let's plug something into the power output of the inverter so we can test the the power as well so I plug this how many watts yeah it's 500 watts and <laughs> right and if we stop the solar panel The system works fine and we should see a jump in the current <laughs> all 
All right, so the system works fine now. This is uh, this is the setup. I use this uh, cable right here. Make sure you know which one is which. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this setup, uh, let me know in the comments, and I will do a follow-up video on this. I'm uh, I'm going to keep testing my battery. I want to implement multiple protocols for communication uh, with uh, other inverters on the market. But uh, so far, so good. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of content, and uh, we'll see you around. All the best.